Hi, my name's Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for almost uh, 10 years now. Today I'd like to share Psalm 100. And here's God's word. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Psalm 100 verses 1 to 5. And here's my blog and a poem I wrote as an inspiration, uh, inspired by this uh, psalm is Praising the Lord Out Loud. All you people of God, come out and sing. Joyfully shout out loud and praise Him. Exalt Him for He has bestowed you much blessings. Thank Him with much gladness in dancing. Declare all that he has done. He is faithful. Be holy. Cleanse your heart and stay grateful. He is the only one worthy of worship. Keep focused on him and give him glory. Let your voices be heard to please him. He has given you his son to forgive your sins. The Lord is full of steadfast love and is full of mercy. Bow down and shout out loud to give him all the glory. Reflection. Why does David invite all the people and all creatures of the earth to make noise to the Lord? What does serving the Lord with gladness means in verse 2? And how is it possible to serve the Lord in a grumpy way? Is it possible to be quietly worshiping the Lord? Or is that is that really giving him praise? So there's a lot of questions on my reflection, but um, in, David invites all the people of God and all the creation to give him worship. If you think about it, everything is created by God, so everything belongs to God, all creatures. So he made them all. So. Isn't it just um, fair for all the cre creatures to be grateful for all the life that is given to them? Yeah. Now, David mentions in verse 2 that we need to serve the Lord with gladness. Now, my other question is, is it possible to serve the Lord in a grumpy way? I don't think so, because when we, do you remember how you were first in love? Isn't it like, uh, you, you know that when you're in love, you, you can't stop smiling, you can't stop thinking about the person, and you find yourself singing, you find yourself uh, being joyful and, and glad. So when you are in love, especially when you're in love with the Lord who created you, you cannot be grumpy. It's an oxymoron to be a grumpy and a depressed Christian because when you're grumpy, you're whiny, you're complaining, you're not happy, right? So it's, it's an oxymoron to be serving the Lord in a grumpy way because that is ungrateful. Um, <clears throat> is it possible to be quietly worshiping the Lord? I don't think so. Um, there's a verse in the Bible that says you do not hide the light and, you know, put it under the basket. I'm paraphrasing. It's not the exact words in the Bible, but it, it means that if you are the light and salt of the earth, will you be quiet? Will, will you hide your light? Will you hide your taste? So you need to give him praise by en ensuring that you make 
a joyful noise and you praise the Lord out loud. You cannot praise somebody without saying something about the person. For example, um, in, in, in a relationship, you cannot say that, well, you know that I love you, so I don't need to say it. You need to say it. You need to declare your love. You need to tell all the other people that you love this person. It's the same way that we cannot worship the Lord quietly. In a way, we can ready our hearts. Like That's why we go to, to church to worship the Lord so that we can praise Him and be glad and, and, and show everyone else how much we are so grateful to worship Him. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching. Be joyful and make noise for the Lord and praise Him. Thanks.